share with Shirley and I about the, the German Martingale, which of course is a wonderful training aid. How to uh, fit it. How to fit it. And, and of course, you, the German Martingale has a separate kind of set of reins. I mean, you have to buy the German Martingale reins, is that correct? Correct. You buy it as a there. unit. You buy it, it as a unit. It comes together. Okay. It comes with the Martingale portion okay. and the rein portion. This particular rein that I have on her today, this is old cast, by the way, is a split rein. Oh, John, guess what? We also have Elvis and Smokin' behind you. <laughs> the little guys came up to say howdy. All right. On this German Martingale with the split rein, of course, some folks prefer a split type rein. Uh huh. It's got the rings on it. Or the other option, Cass seems to want to be turning around here. She wants to look at the little minis. Yeah. The other option is the one piece, what some people might call a barrel rein or a roping rein. Okay, and, and that's a you can it's, get that as a German Martingale yes, also. You can buy either with the split. Okay. Or with the one piece that's adjustable on both sides. Right. Has the same ties. It's got a nice rolled center. Yeah, on I want to. I want to come nice in and, and focus small. on that rolled center, John. This is one of your trademarks, I know, and we've got a lot of barrel racing friends. Look at the stitching and the roll on that rein. That is so comfortable. It's real small in your hands. Small in your hands, yet the strength and stability and suppleness is there. I've even right. had a lot of ropers that like to use this. Okay. Because they have enough room to hold the coils in their hand right. and the rope at the right. rein at the same time. Now, we're all split rein people, but I know a lot of barrel racing friends that okay, like that. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the German Martingale for you. Okay. First thing you want to do is take it off the neck strap. This one inch piece here goes down between their legs. Kind of like a breast collar, right? The, the neck strap like this. Hook, hook the bottom strap to your breast call or your cinch, excuse me, down below. With a nice spring snap already on there. Then you take these two, one goes through. And connects to the D-ring, either one where depending on how much pressure you want from either side. Okay, so that's your adjustment there. You have adjustment here. On the, the small uh, Martingale portion of the rein, uh -huh. you can punch a couple extra holes if you want extra adjustment there. You can tighten that and this, so you have a couple different adjustments. Let me hook up the other side. And, and what the German Martingale is used for as a training aid is we're applying different pressures as we gently uh, tug on our rein. Is that correct, John? That is you're, correct. You're getting a little more direct contact. And, and you're giving the horse the, the telegraph of what you want them to do. Now, we want to encourage everybody, and of course it's the philosophy we have at the One Mini Ranch, and I know Jonathan feels the same way. German Martingales and Martingales like this are training aids. They are not to be used. The object here is to give your horse a little tweak. This is not something that you go out on the trail and, and do. This is hopefully preferably in the training session, in your arena or around your yard. Uh, we do not want to rely on artificial means to completely control our horse. These are training aids to be used to adjust and maybe uh, bring them their attention level back. Is that right, John? That's exactly right. You got here, you've got, as you pull, as you can see, where's it ever right? There it is. You got the act lever action right. underneath here. Right. This actually here, you can tighten that up a little bit if you want to. Mm -hmm. And basically, that's the fit of the German Martingale. Okay, fantastic. Now, the problem with Cass is she doesn't need a German Martingale. This is an old dead broke cutting horse that Jonathan used to cut horses on bridleless. So uh, she doesn't know what all this stuff is in her mouth. And of course, she's been retired for a long time. So, well, John, we want to thank you again for stopping by. And uh, uh, it's always a pleasure to have you stop back at the One Mini Ranch here in Orland. And of course, Buckaroo Leather, uh, the brand to demand, is the place to go for quality leather tack. And can I send people to your blog, John? Please do so. And, and what is that? www.buckarooleather.info. And, and you have videos and information on shafts and, and how to fit the German Martingale. And, and of how course, to maintain press, your tack and how maintain. to take care of it. All right. Hey, uh, Shirley and I, thanks again. And, and of course, we got to give Elvis and, and Smoking Hot there a little. Hi, guys. Hey, boys. Hey, say hello to the audience. They're smoking hot, and of course, Shirley's driving horse Elvis. 
Glad to have you come by, John. Thanks a lot. Thank you.